Hi guys, welcome back to the channel again, and uh, let's continue where we left. Okay, so basically, what we are discussing in the last uh, video is that like how we can use the filter function and why you will use the filter function. So the filter function will be used whenever you are uh, trying to get the columns from two different tables, and uh, so that you can use a filter function. Based on that, you can use it. Okay, uh, here. Uh, as I told you this, this internal table, uh, the internal filter function will create a table, right, which I showed you also in the test table. So, if you give it this information, it will create a table, okay. Now, here the challenge here is in this case is, my filter criteria is based on only two columns. One is best word nomination and second one is a region. But when I am creating this filter table completely, it is creating a completely stored table or with all the columns, but I need only this two column only, because my ultimate goal is that, that I should get a, a table of this two information only, okay. So for that, I need to use another function inside this, that is called the summarize, okay. So how you can use this. So inside the filter, I will do a summarize, right, let's check summarize. So summarize is a create a summary uh, the input table grouped, grouped by specific column okay so you can group it by different columns okay so but expression uh, is not compulsory you can write it or not write it but the table is compulsory and the group by let's see so what i will do i will do a summarize on my store table and uh, what should i do first i will take this to uh, best store nomination comma then I will take my region region. This is the two column I just want to summarize. So it will, it will what happen is, it will just create if I, let me copy this, okay, control C, control C, then let me remove the outer one, okay, so that I can explain you what summarize will do here. So let us create it. So it will create a basic table of two different columns from two different tables. Okay, so one is from region region, and it just create a basic table of these two. Okay, and on top of that, I'm applying the filter. Okay, so it is the this this case we are doing it. Now on top of this, this is a table of these two these two column, and top of that we are saying that this one. And this time I think related is not required because the column is already there as a table. Fine. Now enter it. We'll just filter it out, and I can replace this same formula in my measure as well. Okay. Let's go to the measure, and uh, this part. Let me remove it this. Okay. And just try to enter it. So here, what is the advantage you are getting if you use the summarize? I can only have these two column itself instead of putting a complete table, right? So it's not making any sense here because my filters are going on from the two different columns only. These two difference, okay? This I can do it in a, another way also, okay? So let's uh, make it this this one and just copy paste this. You understand? I think the summarize, right? So let me create another measure here. And I will make it as a city version one. Okay. So instead of the summarize, right, I can use another function also to create just these two tables. Okay. I can use a function called cross join. So cross join will take two tables and it will just create a basic information of these two tables. Okay. So here I need to take two tables here. So the first table would be my all because I don't want any filter on that, okay. So I will take my best store nomination, this is my first table, comma, all region, region. This is the two columns. I want to create a cross join, okay. And on top of that, I can apply some filter. Let me just cross check here. Hopefully this is all right, yeah. And on top of that, 
I can apply one filter as well. Okay, so this is filter. Let's put an enter. Okay, this is also will work. Okay, so what exactly it is this is doing it? Let's try it. Okay, uh, let me create another table here. Let's take test one. This is the one. So this is basically the same thing it is doing it. Okay. So why I'm using the all because I don't want to filter anything into the penetration. So the filter which I'm applying it should be comes through that. Okay. Exactly same. Right. And if you see the result also, I'll try with this. And if you just expand this to column. Okay. Because this is the all I have given, this is data. But the ultimate thing is I can use these two columns. Okay, fine. So the basic thing is understanding is that I'm not talking about the data here. So data because it is coming because I'm using a all function. Okay, all means it is just removing the filter from this column itself. So it is just giving me only the one three one five six nine. Okay. So we can use that. We can, we can use that, but there is a certain way to do it. But still, we can use the cross gen. So ultimate goal is to use the cross gen. How we can use the cross gen? I will explain you in subsequent video how we can uh, delete this and we can get the exact figure here. So here the point is, I can use the summarize inside that, and I can use a cross gen function as well. Okay, make sense. All right. So let's go to another steps. So we understand the filter function, right? So, uh, so that's that's the way the filter function is all about. Now, second use case of the filter. Okay, let's try and understand here. So, let me remove this everything, and uh, let's see. I want to calculate. Let's check the number of uh, products, the count of number of products, okay, uh, when my total actual sales is greater than somewhere around 500 or some billions, right, millions or whatever maybe the amount it is there. So that's what I just want to calculate. So the measure as a filter, okay. So in that case also the filter will work. So Let's create a measure here. Uh, number of products. Okay. So I will use my calculate. Then I can use a count function directly or I can create a measure also. So I will say the number of products here. Where? Directly I can if I say my total actual sales is greater than, let's take how many, 5, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, this is the formula I want to use it, okay. But when you use it, it will throw an error. So here why the error is all about? Because it is, you can say that measure can't be measure can't be directly used as filter. Okay, I can't use directly the measure. I can't use directly. So for that, we need to use the filter function. Make sense? So I will say filter. I will uh, filter my store table here. Then on top of that, I can specify this wherever the total Excel sales is greater than fifteen million. Then if I use it then it will work okay so how it is working i will show you so, okay there, there is no product that's fine but the thing is how you are saying that this is the way 
so if i take this data no how it is working take this data to a test one table here okay and just put it back so here we are filtering the store table actually here there is no data actually there is no total sales actually got than 15000 hmm what i did the wrong here Let's try with the fifty thousand only. So what is happening is it is like uh, it is filtering the table wherever the total actual sales is less than fifteen thousand, fifty thousand. Okay, and on top of that we are counting the number of products. Okay, so that's what it is. We are doing it. Let's let's put the fifty thousand here. And we'll get the number of products here. So two twenty eight and all these things. Right. So there are two use cases for the filter. When I am planning to use uh, multiple column from multiple tables, I can use the filter. Second use case is whenever I want to refer the measures in a filter section, then I will use the filter function. Okay, because filter is providing another nested level of filter inside the calculate. So if there is no use case, don't use filter. Okay. So these are two cases and uh, hope you like this video and please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, thanks for watching